Hello, and welcome to Nextara's video series on the Salesforce Developer Workbooks. In this track, we'll be walking you through the Force.com workbook. This series covers Chapter 3, Add App Logic with Clicks, Not Code, and this video covers Section 2, Add a Formula Field. Another thing that's missing from the line item object is a line item total field that displays the product of each line item's quantity and unit price. In this tutorial, we'll implement this common business logic by creating a new formula field in the line item object, again, without writing any code. Start by clicking Setup, then click Create, then Objects. Click Line Item, and then click New in Custom Fields and Relationships. This new field will be a formula, so click Formula, and then click Next. For the field label, type in Line Item Total, and then choose Currency as the formula return type, and then click Next. In the Insert Field dropdown, choose Unit Price, Then from the Insert Operator dropdown, choose Multiply. And now in the Insert Field dropdown, choose Quantity. Then click Next. Click Next again. And finally click Save. Now let's try this out. Click the Invoices tab. and then click any recent invoice. Now click New Line Item. Enter a line item number and quantity and choose any piece of merchandise. And now click Save. Now click the number of the line item and you'll see the line item total field, which is the product of quantity and unit price. In our next video, we'll cover section three, add a roll-up summary field. Thank you for joining us. For more great content, click to follow us on Google+.